Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Good morning. I'm down in the car because um, when you're out with people and you, you see, you know, you can, when you become a shaman, when this awakening happens, you start to see shit you didn't see before. It's a long story. I was around some old friends, seeing some shit, and I said, baby, we need to say, and, um, Palo Santo, just to protect our energy, because we were around a lot of people, we were having fun and stuff last night, and a little late, it's like 10, I wanted to be up earlier, and we'll see about this car. But I wanted to give you guys some of this before because I can't do it in the room. We can only do the selenite. And I'm doing hand side of the sage. And then we're going to come behind that with the Palo Santo. So remember, when you sage, you want to, um, it banishes all spirit, all energy, positive and negative. Um, so that way you can set the intent for positive. So we're going to amplify it with the Palo Santo. Okay. Keep it in a G. Rosemary, cedar, pine, yerba santa, just to emit, bring in uh, positive energies. Okay. So we're going to go up right now. Good morning. Wake and bake, motherfuckers. Good morning to this. This today's a. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? I don't know. Welcome back to Mile High Morning Manifesting. Okay. Wake and bake. All to call. Let's get high on the spirit. Okay. So, the other video, I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi, and I'm having a hard time uploading when I checked. Shit hadn't even been uploaded from yesterday, so yesterday's morning manifesting, uh, the 17th, is also going to be on today, because it didn't upload yesterday, so I apologize for that. Also, my road trip is probably going to be after the minute. Everything's all screwed up, but we're going to keep it rolling, okay? So, today, for me, is Thursday, June 18th. Um, the sun is in Gemini. The moon is in Taurus. We are currently in that waxing crescent moon, and it is at 6% illumination. The topic of today's uh, altar call with the door the Lord was dealing with me last night is where are real prophets at? Okay, so this is a time during the waning crescent moon. This is a time that we want to take from the world to rest and renew yourself. Listen to your body. Relax. Be mindful. Reflect with gratitude. Meditate. Visualize for the upcoming um, new moon cycle okay so we have that new coming the new moon coming up I believe on the 24th yeah the new moon um, 628 a.m. remember we want to have our blue sage that is what we're using to do any rituals rituals for me are prayers I religiously pray rituals are things that you do over and over and over and over and over again so I religious I religiously pray those are my rituals so I do have prayers I do have I'm going to be doing some scripting and using the blue sage to set the tone. Today, to set the tone, I'm going to be using um, the selenite. Now, I I should be able to upload the video. I went out in the car to go sage and um, palo santo. So, it is still very important, especially with the energies and the vibes. But here in the room, I'm using uh, selenite. It provides for clarity of the mind. It can be used to ask, access past and future lives. It assists with uh, issues of judgment, promotes the connection between the conscious self and the mystic. Okay, in business, used to assist one in the acquisition of material gain, aids one to see the deeper working of situations and understand the superficial and deep meaning of circumstances. Okay, and it has a Taurus on there, which is my north node, and the vibration is eight. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh, I got angel numbers. Today's the 18th. And the vibration is eight. So already off the bat, we have angel numbers 88. Now I gotta look that up. And 88 is there's a there 888 is a phase about to end. Move head. Move ahead. Angel's number yesterday. So yeah, I got a lot of um got a lot of work to do because yesterday it was uh 11, 11. It was eleven and seventy-seven, and today it's eighty-eight. So there was a completion yesterday and there's a new beginning today. Woo -woo like that shit i like that shit so thursday thursday is ruled by jupiter aka thor's day y'all know like that movie thor uh attracting luck and wealth attracting healing the candle to be burnt would be blue or brown or purple i'm not burning any candles in the room today um the oil would be rosemary or lemongrass i brought uh, my frankincense just to keep me centered and focused 
Uh, the crystals would be amethyst, sapphire, emerald, cat's eye, camelon, emerald, and sapphire. Mm. Well, I don't have anything like that, but I did find a rock outside today. Y'all can't even see it. Move y'all up in the night. You can see the little crystals. And you can't even see the lighting. But I think it's kind of cool. It's shiny. And so I am going to be using that. And let me see. Sama, Camelon emeralds. Emeralds and sapphires. I'm thinking green. I'm thinking luck. I'm thinking wealth. So I'm going to be using my green pre -hanite. I'm going to be pulling on all my green stones. And then this is my uh, Pisces stone. So I'm going to have all these out just to pull on their vibrations. And this little rock that I found. Y'all can see that. Let me move that down so we can get into the reading, okay? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Okay, Four minutes in. So I'm going to try to not keep these too long. I have lots of things to do. But if y'all can see the stones that I'm vibing with today. As well as this. I'm set them out on the altar. Um, I always carry this one in my purse as well as the selenite. And then this, oh man, I wish you guys could see the little sparklies in these. You can see it. I just like rocks. I don't know. It's weird. And I like it because it's shiny and body of my shaman. And pendulum so we can obtain, obtain clear answers from the source within. <clears throat> Black tourmaline is my protection stem. Alrighty. Real prophets. So where are real prophets at? So the Lord was dealing with me last night. We were talking about, you know, we got into what's going on in the world. Yada, yada, yada. We're not going to bring that here. But somebody said, when you've seen a homeless man on the street, you need to, you know, why that man can work and whoop, whoop, whoop. And the Lord was dealing with me that we all serve our purpose in the universe. I've been homeless. I've slept. I had to sleep on the bridges. And I was real thankful for them old men out there. And you know what? I believe that them old men sitting out on the street, they have so much wisdom. They have so much to offer. And I mean, a homeless man on the street will sell his cigarette with me. Whereas to a rich prophet man, when I'm standing on the corner asking for change, won't even give me a look. Act like I'm not even there. Won't even roll the window down. When Jesus came, he wasn't in the church. Because you know Jesus is calling. I love me some Jesus, y'all. So... I was really thinking about where my real prophets at. I believe my real prophets are out here homeless on these streets. The people that we don't acknowledge in society. Such as myself. I am so Pisces because I'm a Pisces son. I'm going to have fun throughout my spiritual awakening. And this is Gangstar Tarot. So if this is your first time today, you're tuning in. You like tarot, oracle cards, sage and crystals, trap music, and Jesus. Go ahead and subscribe. Also, I would like to offer gratitude to G-Certified for allowing me to use all of their music. Please go and check them out. Great vibes, great music, great messages. All of their information will be in my description box below. Starting off, Angels number 88. Okay, and Jesus is calling with uh, the loving words from Jesus by Doreen Virtue. We're going to be using her. We're going to be using my um, Kyle Gray Oracle Cards by Dial Cray. Uh, the artwork is by Lily Moses. We're going to be using the Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards by Stacey DeMarco. And then we're going to finish up using the Romance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Let y'all know what we're working with today. But you work with me. <sighs> Guys, I wanted the room with the breakfast. Look at what they have. And bottled waters and stuff. You know, I like the free breakfast. And I was going to vlog that. But I got me some fruit. We ate some fruit. And this. And you know, like little, I'm going to give me a little muffin or something. Alrighty. <clears throat> Glory, hallelujah, be unto the most high God, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, Lord God, you are who was, who is, and who is yet to come, the great I am, my redeemer, my healer, my deliverer, I worship you. I humble myself before you, Lord God, but yet I boldly offer you up the sacrifice of praise, asking for nothing, offering all that I am, a living sacrifice before your throne. Do with me as you see fit. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Archangel Michael, guardians of light, ancestors, I'm calling on you. Shekinah, come, my best friend, 
Holy Spirit, my leader and guider, and to all truth and to all knowledge. I'm calling on you on behalf of the North, South, East, and West. On behalf of all elements, earth, air, fire, water, I embody all. I need a message for today, Holy Ghost. What is it that you want me to know today? What message do you have for us? In the mighty name of Jesus, I call all things done by the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. Alrighty. So today being June 18th, what does Jesus have to say today? I almost forgot. I don't know, but I don't even know where it is today. June 18th. Whatever you ask in prayer, Jesus answered them, truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, only what and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. Matthew 21, 21, 22. So we have angels numbers 21 and 22. And then we have those scriptures. Jesus trains us to seek the essentials from God, to direct our longings and aspirations to the to the center prayer to God must be as common in our lives as conversations with our friends. Is prayer central in your life? For us, yes it is. We do this every morning. We get high on the Holy Ghost, right? Okay, so the prayer is God and Father, universe, source. I find your love in and around me. I realize your salvation working deeply through my existence, centered in you and surrounded by you. Make every word I speak a prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Love me some Jesus. He is my favorite of the light workers, guardians of the light. My spirit will not intercess on behalf of our flesh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, ask and it shall be given to you. Matthew 7, 7. Oh my God. Oh my freaking goodness. Y'all, come on. Can y'all see? Matthew 7, 7. And it's green. It has a lot of green in there, like our stone. Maybe if someone's asking for children. I know I miss my babies. I think about my children too when I see this card, but I see it like Jesus telling us like we are like this big to him. We are like a little child to him. If this little baby came in and asked for some food, Jesus would give it to him. So now is a good time. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Now is a good time to ask like a child and we will get it. And I'm believing in this car, y'all, that everything will work out. If not, I'm needing a vehicle for myself. We have the truck, but I need my own and I'm just been, it's been real important to me for a long time. So that's what I'm working on. And it's not just a car. I've been asking for more of the Lord. Um, just more independence, being able to get up and go. Keepers of the Light, Guardians of the Light by or by Kyle Gray. This is my favorite day. My first one. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 7, 7. So again, we have the number 77. There's definitely been a completion. Also, um, I found here that 777, angels applaud, expect miracles. So I do feel like the spirit is very happy. I'm feeling a lot of love. From the universe right now. Okay. Green dada yo tolo ya na la basata la ina ya da tala ya ya. Risha kanjo lo bo kondori akala. Kinja lo bo kondori akinja la basata. Oh, Odin. See, I thought he was gonna pop out yesterday. Yesterday was Woden's day. Okay. Odin, psychic inside. Your third eye is now open. So see truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Um, so we're going to be using that uh, amethyst. I like to see the amethyst. These are the crown chakra of third eye. There's all different kinds of meetings. Selenite, your clear quartz, just to open your third eye. And if you don't know who Odin is, I'll explain him quickly and then the message that he brings. <laughs> Oh 
I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I mean, oh, maybe that'll be a little bit better. Okay. Odin is a Norse All Father God who is revered to the present day. He is powerful, all seeing, all knowing God. His twin flame is Freya, and like her, he has a raven totem. The story goes that he is surrounded, no, he has surrendered one of his eyes at a mystical spring called Mimer, so that he could gain the wisdom of the ages. He is a strong but somewhat wild character. He helps us reawaken our natural psychic instincts and opens our third eye so that we can look beyond the physical senses and into the spiritual realm. He also helps us recognize that it is okay to have insights into what's happening next. After all, we are the creators of our own paths. Odin guards the runic alphabet too and works closely with signs, symbols, and omens. Extended message. You are being encouraged to look beyond what your physical eyes are showing you. Look within your look within and follow your intuition or psychic visions. You may want to plan ahead at this time. It is important to keep your mind energy focused on the best possible outcome. There will be signs and symbols from the light. To tell you that you are on the right path. Be aware of the winged beings gracing your path. As a wink from Odin and light keepers to say that they're honoring your work. Look, I'm a little emotional. Y'all know I'm the raven spirit. And I'm going to start doing bird watching because I watch the birds. I'm going to start doing bird watching on my, my channel. I'm doing whatever. I love it. Whatever the spirit tells me to do. But behold the birds. They neither reap nor sow. Yet the universe provides for them. How much more does the universe love you? I love when I get these cards because they makes me look at the birds and remember that I am loved. Okay, moving forward. Now we're going to be doing the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Okay, I need those. You done? You pulled one? What card did you pull? I'll use it. What card popped out? Let me see. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is good. Give me the card. It's for next. I don't even got to do a romance oracle card. We have one. So he was over here moving my cards, right? And one popped out. You pulled three? Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, this is good for us. This is live. This is live. Game Star Tarot. And I didn't even shuffle it. He got tears in his eyes, y'all. Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Spirit. He was just picking them up and they fell out and it scared him. This real energy. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Thank you. That happened just like that. Ooh, hey, this is a good morning, man. Come on, Holy Spirit. Hold on. I'm going to show him real quick because he's just. Okay, so the first one that came out was release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And this is the way they fail, y'all. And he just picked them up. He's yeah. spooked. The next one is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. <sighs> Maybe he had some shit going on. Was you praying? <laughs> Wedding. This situation involves marriage. <gasps> oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy you. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Well, you guys know what's going on with me. What's going on with you? Wow. Ooh, I hope this, I'm going to get this uploaded real. I'm saving this. That's loud. I didn't even do it. They fell out. He was just moving my cards out the way. And then the way they fell, he's just got tears. Release your ex. Yes, this is your soulmate and wedding. And I was studying the difference between a twin flame and a soul soulmate. Oh, boy. Okay. Queen of the moon oracle, yeah. Queen of the moon oracle. Risa, now you gotta go take a minute. It's okay. Yeah. 17 minutes. <gasps> you ain't gonna believe what I just popped out. Release. Release. Not release. Somebody needs to release something. Release their ex. Release some negative energy. Release worry. Release okay. concern. There's a transition happening right now. Crown chakra on fire. God is. Crown chakras on fire. See your hair? I get messages, guys. I do intercess on behalf of things unseen to the naked eye. We're having a release. Let me see what the... I think maybe you need to listen to this real quick. Or you could listen right quick. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to read it. It's angel number 27. There's another seven. Seven, seven, seven. Angels are plotting. Angel number 27. And then RC has seven, seven, seven. Angels are plotting right now. 
You hear them? Release. Angel number 27. Oh, Lord, y'all. This shit is real, baby. This a whole gangster nigga over here. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let it go. It is time to release anything that does not serve you. Old negative habits. Do not engage habits. Do not engage. You do not engage you anymore. As you pay off, it is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger and brighter, more enlightened things. The affirmation for today is I freely release what I no longer need. There is a payoff if we decide to finally release something we no longer need. The payoff is individuals. The payoff is as individuals as you are. But there will be a universal feeling of making space for something new. The secret to effectively releasing what no longer serves you is, in fact, knowing that the payoff will indeed be worth it. Which makes it super important to know what that what to know what that positive payoff may be. For example, giving up a habit such as smoking, which we know is detrimental to your body, and that is cancer causing among many other nasty things, has payoffs. What the most important payoff is for you may be different for someone else who is giving up the habit, but it needs to be clear in your mind, body, and spirit. You might give up you might give up so that your body feels healthier generally or so that your children and those around you aren't exposed to the smoke and chemicals that you no longer and chemicals that live no longer that live longer or all the money that you wasted on cigarettes could be used for something that is more in line with you and would really want such travel such as travel or home what you really want such as travel at or home Wow, y'all don't have a hard time because I'm emotional. Me too. Oh, shit. All of which are real payoffs for which it is worth releasing the habit. In magic, in a particular, in spellcraft, the art of release after raising power is vital to its effectiveness. Should we raise power without sending it out into the universe or deities that are in focused ways? It may remain stagnant or stuck. They can, this can cause us to feel overwhelmed. So we've got to release right now because we're feeling overwhelmed. And that smoky quartz. I don't have the smoky quartz, but when I don't have smoky quartz, I'm always going to use that Apache Tears. And I'm going to use some Tiger's Eye. Here, baby, come hold this. You're okay. <laughs> it's the spirit, y'all. Okay. I'm feeling that release of cigarettes. Y'all hear my voice and I'm like, I just got to stop and my vape keeps messing up. I'm using his vape. I'm getting that cigarettes. Also releasing bad energies. Um, you know, I'm going to just go on and talk about it. So, you know, when you're getting ready to pack, if you have a significant other or even anybody, family, you can get energies riled up. Oh, we're packing. We're fighting. We're fussing. Brrr. So the soul men in the wedding, I know that's specifically for me and maybe for you. It may help you if you are with someone, if you're watching this and you, you feel it. Um, you could be asking about your soulmate or you could be asking about a person. The question is yes. The situation does involve marriage. Now, marriage could be to a person or to the spirit in my relationship. I, I am um, engaged. <laughs> but release, you could release your ex. Um, I don't have an ex I for a long time, but I do need to release smoking. I do need to release negative thinking. I do need to release knowing that this man is not the one for me i need to release that this is my soulmate and we are going to get married i've been worried about that and i do need i need to release it's a double release also when you get overwhelmed when you get excited you've got to release when you've got shit bit up inside of you you've got to release that's why sometimes we blow up but there are different ways to release like you can just go out and yell and scream some people rap like me when i do shadow work I flow, I rap, I love to get in the studio. Uh, we like to go fishing, uh, things of that nature. So you got to figure out how to release. Also, I've got to quit freaking smoking cigarettes, y'all. Come on, y'all pray for with me. I've got to hear my voice. I'm starting to sound like a man. I can't even sing anymore. 
Alrighty, well, we got the romance. We've got everything. This is Gangstar Tarot. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Remember, where are your real profits at? Are they in the church? Are they sitting out here on front of the street in front of the store? My real profits, where I get my word from, I'll go pull me up a cardboard box and sit next to the nigga outside the store and drink me a beer and I can get a word. So you got to figure out what that is for you. That's just how I feel. Love you guys so much. I am an enchantress. I am listening to the cries of my lineage. I'm going to follow the guidance of my ancestors and intercess on behalf of things unseen. Love y'all. Bye. I already know that a nigga out you getting to the paper Yeah, I'm getting to the paper Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces And a whole lot of layers Yeah, I'ma chase them You can say the hustle in my nature G-certified money maker